speaking of a packed T-Mobile arena, um, what's it like being on a card with Conor McGregor and, you know, having the whole world buy this fight? Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm thankful that I'm on this card because Conor McGregor brings the most eyes. Um, but being on the being on the pay-per-view portion, just, you know, hopefully it, it tells me that, you know, the company I work for uh, sees good things in me. And um, now it's my time to go out and perform and give them another reason to keep me there. You know, you can't expect to stay there if you're not performing, right? This is the game. It's the fight business, the hurt business. Do you expect this to be the most packed fight you've ever fought in? It is. It, this will be the most packed fight I've ever fought in. This, this arena will go nuts. Um, a lot of people were saying that I shouldn't be on the main card. I shouldn't be this. I shouldn't be that. So, you know, I'm going to go prove them wrong. I, I like that. I like proving people wrong. Butterflies? Yeah. Nervous? Yeah. So I, I get butterflies. I turn that into excitement. You know, this is all exciting to me. Come fight night's going to be exciting to me. Um, you let those butterflies get the best of you. Uh, you, you could you could choke up under the pressure. I don't feel the I, I don't feel like there's pressure. You know, I just that's the freest time of my life. Being in the cage is the freest time of my life. I can do what I want. I can swag it out and just be free. And that's what we're gonna do Saturday night. And you are facing Alexi Olenek on Saturday night. Now, he made his UFC debut, or MMA debut, in 1996. Uh, he's the first fighter in the UFC to fight in four decades. He fought in the 90s, the 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. So I want to ask you, what were you doing in 1996? Shit, I was 10 years old. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and he does. I think most of his wins have come by stoppage. Almost all of them have been by submission. You're also one of the few heavyweights that has more submission wins over TKO or knockout wins. So uh, is submitting an opponent like Alexi Olenek just a feather in your cap? Like, this guy is so decorated. He just he just faced Gordon Ryan uh, in the quintet series. He got tapped, but he's still Gordon Ryan. Seeing him as a worthy seeing him as a worthy contender, submitting him like that must be a feather in your cap. You, you probably want to do that, right? Um, uh, you know, I, I don't got, I'm going to call it the cowboy effect. Um, I don't got the cowboy effect. So, <laughs> may, I, I'm out here to win. You know, you heard that song, win, 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 win. Uh, J -Rock. Fuck everything else, because that's all that matters, is that we go out there and win. Um, so, it, if I submit him, it, it is a feather in my cap, you know. Uh, but I, we got to get there first. We got to get there first, so... Um, he's going to have to get past these hands. He's going to have to get past the movement. He's going to, you know, and I'm sure he's more than prepared. Um, he's a seasoned vet. There's nothing he hasn't probably seen in 70, 70 fights. So I just got to be, I just got to be smarter than him, you know. Well, that was going to be one of my next questions where he's fought, like I said, in four decades. So what do you have that he hasn't seen? I guess we'll see on Saturday. And then I do have to ask about your nickname, the Crochet Boss. You obviously have have the history. Like you look up your Wikipedia page, your personal life, your bio is is has a hobby of doing crochet. So I'll pose it this way: in the crochet world, what is the equivalent of a UFC championship? <sighs> Fuck. I mean, partner with a yarn company and getting paid off of off of crochet and getting paid to teach people how to crochet. Um, <laughs> I would assume so, you know. Uh, I'm almost there, though. I'm almost there. Really? Yeah, well, I've had a couple of yard companies reach out and talk to me about, you know, like an ambassadorship really? and doing travel with them and stuff like that, you know. But the problem is I'm not your average MMA fighter and I'm not your average crocheter. So I kind of... And build it. I got, kind of got my own lane, you know. I'm staying in my own lane. I'm not following nobody. This is my lane. It's a crochet boss's lane. Sure. You know, you can get in and get the fuck out. Um, so, so when when you say brand ambassador, like you would basically just go from like a yarn expo to yarn expo, maybe being at a booth or signing autographs or whatever, or maybe maybe going into schools. You know, I, I did get a chance to go into a school in Minnesota where I live at, and um, you know, sit with a, a bunch of kids that are in a crochet club. You know. And it was very, very humbling, you know, to, to see all these kids that run up to you and they know that you do MMA and they know you crochet. And it's almost one of those things where crochet is not cool, right? Oh, yeah. Cool kids don't crochet. But the crochet boss got to make it cool again because the hats I make, when, when the hat comes off the hook, the hats, you can't buy that. You can go to any, you can go to Louie, you can't buy that. 
you know, you can't buy what I make. Your grandma can't. She can make what I make, but the stitches, sure. stitches, my stitches are impeccable, and my colorways is hitting. Is all I'm saying. So if a fan watches this and wants one of your hats, where do they go? I have an Etsy page, but it's really not up and running right now. Um, I, I've been fighting a lot, so I've been training a lot. I got two kids. Uh, so, you know, sometimes life gets in the way of some of those things, and the UFC comes one number one. So, um, moving forward, we'll have I'll have a brand. Uh, I, have, I have a website up, thecrochetboss.com. Probably right now it's on Etsy, but it'll be thecrochetboss.com, and I'll have uh, branded merchandise with hats and things like that. So, final question: If obviously if you win, the Crochet Boss brand will obviously rise, and maybe more hats will be bought. Uh, so, how do you win on Saturday? Real quick, there's no if I win, right? You got to speak it to existence. It's when I win. We just don't know how I'm going to win yet. I just know I'm going to win. Um, and it's going to come out either way. You know, it's going to come out either way. You know, I do a lot of word of mouth stuff, um, but sometimes it's hard to accommodate everybody's requests. So if you want a hat, don't request a color. I'm going to charge you double just so you know. You can have what I what I come out with. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just saying it's a lot, people. It's a lot. Thank you so much. You good luck on Saturday. Appreciate you.